What's up everyone? Today I'm in the Bronx at Bistro, a restaurant that pays homage to hip hop culture. You might be wondering why I'm showing you what looks like a rundown record store. Well, this is actually the entrance to Bistro. It isn't until you walk through the velvet curtain that the true beauty of the restaurant is revealed. Design wise, we wanted it to be a little bit of a unsure thing, right? Like a little bit of a beat up vinyl record shop where I can't tell you how many times people come in and be like, do you sell records? What's going on in here? Like, oh, you know what? And then they hear music and they'll come through the curtains and they'll come to the back and like, wow, I had no idea this was here. It's this opening up of a doorway to a different culture, to a different understanding for a lot of people. They expect one thing from us, right? And that's what they see in the front and that's almost expected. Then they come in and on the inside, there's this totally different world that's expansive, that's glam, that's beautiful, that's, that has a lot of hidden treasure to it. But until you're willing to go beyond the surface, how are you ever gonna know? The menu is inspired by staples that the Black and Puerto Rican communities here grew up eating. We took that food and we put twist on it, we elevated it, we changed it, but we still made it very familiar. The cheesy mac, chicken and waffles, and creamy Carolina grits reflect Southern cooking, while other dishes have more of a Latin American influence. For example, one of the ingredients in the banana pudding is dulce de leche. All of these dishes were delicious, and I got a sense of that familiar home cooking that the team at Bistro wanted to showcase. Different elements of hip hop are portrayed through the artwork in this space. There's the DJ, the MC, right? Now, now there's break dancing as well. Graffiti is a fourth, and then the fifth is the culture, right? Like kind of how it all ties in together. One of the main pieces is the mural of a subway train above the kitchen. There was no easels in canvas. What there were were a lot of trains going by, a lot of buildings, a lot of canvas space of our own. And that mural of the train is what a train would have looked like in the 80s, you know, and it's bombed out, it's tagged up. At the back of the restaurant, there's a massive wall of functional gold painted speakers. Just kidding, they don't actually work but it looks pretty cool. It's very ostentatious, these big gold speakers, but you're drawn to it. You, you, you almost feel a beat, you know? It, it, whether it's on or not, you, you sense like there's a vibration coming from it, and that's what we wanted. If you go to New Orleans, everything is around jazz. If you go to Nashville, Tennessee, everything is about country music, you know? You come to the Bronx, where hip hop was created, this whole music of genre, not just music, fashion, culture, all of it was created and there really wasn't anything that you could look at and go and say, well, this is where everything started. This is how it was. So that's what Bistro is. It's an homage to the creation of a cultural wave. Reporting for News for New York, this is Miriam Oka.